What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 8.1.2 has been released. But if you want to jailbreak, then you're going to have to be on iOS 8.1.1 or below in order to do that. So what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to downgrade from iOS 8.1.2 down to iOS 8.1.1. Now keep in mind, this is only going to work while the window is open and Apple is signing iOS 8.1.1. If you guys want to know when that window closes, make sure that you follow me on Twitter and I'll be sure to let you guys know. So the first thing that you need to have is a device on iOS 8.1.2. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and open up my settings and then we tap on general and tap on about, you can see that we have a device on iOS 8.1.2 right there. Now, once you have that, make sure that it is connected to your computer. Mine's just in a dock right here. And then you want to make sure that you have the right IPSW for your device. So I'm going to put a link in the description below for you guys. You're just going to click on it and then just go directly to your device and the firmware that you want to download. Now the device obviously is whatever device you have and the firmware that you're going to download is iOS 8.1.1. So once you do that, you can see that I've already done so and I've actually saved my IPSW to my desktop here. And then you're just going to plug in your device and we're going to go directly into iTunes. Now, of course, you're just going to need to click this little phone icon right here and it's going to bring you to this screen. And then what you want to do is hold down option if you're on a Mac and click check for update. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, then all you need to do is hold down shift and then click check for update. Now, make sure that you click check for update and not restore iPhone. If you click check for update, then this is going to allow you to keep all of your settings, content, contacts, everything like that. If you click restore iPhone, then it's going to wipe your device. Now, one thing to mention before we actually get started with this process is that you do want to make sure that you back up your device, which I've actually already done. I just back mine up to my computer and then I restore from the backup once I'm done and jailbroken. So you can see right here that I'm on my desktop, so I'm just going to click on the IPSW that I need, which is the iOS 8.1.1, and then we're going to click open. And then it says iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 8.1.1 and will verify the update with Apple. So just go ahead and click update. And then this is going to take just a little bit of time, so I'll go ahead and speed through this and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, so you can see that we're completely done now. So if I go ahead and swipe to unlock, you'll see that if we go to settings, you can see that I'm actually on iOS 8.1.1. And it's really as simple as that. Now that we're downgraded to iOS 8.1.1, now we can jailbreak. So if you guys wanna know how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.1, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys so you can jailbreak with the new Taiji jailbreak. I believe that's how you say it. So if you plan on jailbreaking in the near future, I highly recommend doing this process very quickly just because this window can close and Apple will stop signing iOS 8.1.1 in the near future. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, as always, if you want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If you have any questions or any problems, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and I'll stick around for a while and help you guys out. All right, guys, until next time, peace.